we have a 3D scanning process where uh, the acquisition of the data and the scanning uh, takes some time. So basically for a normal 3D scan, including uh, the pictures, 8 to 10 minutes. Uh, and in this time, always the operators have to wait. And uh, we want to reduce this time uh, as much as possible. So consequently, there is the idea to automate uh, this complete process in this case. So the robot will go to the scan points, stop there, take the 3D scan and move to the next position. Besides this, there is the possibility uh, also for people who need uh, a remote control uh, to control the robot uh, directly uh, on their own to go, for example, in dangerous areas uh, like nuclear power plants or stuff like this. Buttons over here are just for switching the robot now back on. So now it's driving completely autonomous to the next scan point. And what you can also see is the obstacle avoidance. So it's also driving uh, through all the people uh, without any collisions or problems. So we would have here now a typical scan point where we take a 3D scan. Uh, and then we continue our movement. And you see uh, the robot is really very uh, reactive and safe. So if I'm stepping in front of it, it's not driving uh, into me, but it always tries to find the best way uh, around the obstacle in this case. There are different sensors uh, in this case. Uh, we have a camera for, for 3D navigation. We have 2D laser scanners yeah, and some kind of uh, intelligent software that uh, solves the rest of the problem. The idea I've already mentioned before, yes, it's the automation of the 3D scan process. So uh, we want that the customer can save time and also later take uh, the positioning of the system uh, to automatically register uh, the scans. Uh, you have a 2D map uh, of the environment uh, in this case and you can uh, give the robot certain scan positions in a graphical user interface available for example uh, for uh, Windows or also uh, for uh, uh, mobile devices. As I already mentioned, uh, this is uh, a demonstrator. Um, what you see here uh, as the software. So we are now connecting, uh, we are wireless on the robot uh, to check uh, actually what it's doing. Normally you don't have to do this when it's driving. Um, it always takes uh, a second here in this environment till my notebook is connected to the, uh, to the wireless. This is uh, the software what you see here. So. Uh, you also have, uh, similar to scene, for example, here projects. Um, first of all, when you start a new project, uh, you um, press, for example, the new project button and you call it test project now. Yeah. And uh, then you have a new project and then you can start here, uh, for example, by, by remote control. Uh, the mapping process of the of the uh, environment. So we create a new project. Uh, let's call it, for example, test one. And now we have the possibility here uh, to create, in a very fast way, uh, a 2D environment map by just remote controlling the robot and driving around. This is a very fast process if people uh, are not standing directly in front of you. Um, then you can go around and you can see on the screen uh, how, the, how the 2D map uh, is building up. At the end, uh, when you finished with the mapping, let's say here, stop mapping. We can uh, set different kind uh, of uh, scan points. So we have here, for example, the complete map, uh, in this case, uh, of the exhibition. And uh, we can basically here set our scan points uh, where the robot will later stop. We have, uh, in this case, a starting position where we can uh, navigate uh, the robot to. So let's go there. And now finally, you just press 
the start scan button, wait for 20 seconds and the robot will start driving. Then you can close your notebook and do some other important work while the robot is sc scanning for you. The battery can run uh, six to eight hours, uh, depending uh, on yeah, how much the robot uh, has to drive in between. Um, in comparison uh, with the scanner or also together with the scanner, it's then possible to have uh, one working night or one working day. This depends on you. Uh, you can put an SD card inside, so uh, you can take whatever SD card is uh, available. The robot can uh, theoretically go up to two meters per second, yeah. Uh, but uh, here in this case, we are running uh, at approximately 0.8 meters per second uh, out of safety reasons. What you see here uh, is the brand new development uh, of an indoor version. It is also a robot for scanning. It's just uh, made um, for indoor and flat floors. Uh, so the advantage here is that it's really compared to the other version, very lightweight. Yeah, it's uh, mounted on a normal dolly. Uh, you can just fold it, put it in your rucksack, go to your scan project. Uh, unfold it and start uh, the automated scanning.